we are with ISTV and this is Miranda Murring bringing you the top most stories of the day. Well, the headline is 197 carriers of URF, KCP Lumfell and KYKL MDF surrender. Signed Memorandum of Understanding with State and Central Government. Now the news in detail. Three underground organizations, United Revolutionary Front, URF, KCP Lumfell and KYKL, MDF today signed the Memorandum of Understanding with the Central and State Government. The 197 surrenders also surrendered 138 weapons including AK-47, AK-56 rifles. Chief Minister Okram Ibobi Singh welcomed the cadres in joining the mainstream society. We have a report for more news. The Memorandum of Understanding with the three underground groups was signed during a function at the Banquet Hall of First Manipur Rifles. Chief Minister Okram Ibobi Singh and Home Minister Gai Khangam presided over the function. The ceremony was also attended by Ministers, DGP IG Assam Rifle, Senior Assam Rifles Officials, Army and State Police Department Officials. The MOU was signed by Shambhu Singh, Joint Secretary, North East in Charge, Ministry of Home Affairs on behalf of the Central Government, and J. Shuris Babu, Principal Secretary Home on behalf of the State Government. On behalf of URF, Khairapam Gopendra Singh, also known as Lanhaiba, Chairman of URF, P. Mangiyayama Maite, Secretary Home Affairs, and Ngangom Soviet Maite, Chief of the Army, signed the MOU. On behalf of KCP Lamfel, Naurim Brojen Maite, Chief of Army, and Taibang Anba, Joint Secretary, signed the MOU. On behalf of KYKL MDF, Maisnam Athoba President and Laimayim Ronil Sharma, General Secretary, signed the MOU. Ninety cadres of United Revolutionary Front, forty cadres of KCP Lamfen, and sixty-seven cadres of KYKL MDF today surrendered. The groups also surrendered 138 weapons, including 12 AK-47 rifles, three AK-56 rifles, 35 9mm pistols, 34 7.65 pistols, and eight lathered guns. <laughs> ไม่อย่างพุ่นมักเสียไปแต่ต้องนั่งด่าลานนั่งลงดีไอ้ไข่พุ่นมักเสียทิ้งนี้บ้างไข่พุ่นมักสรรการไว้ไว้ยัยเ
All travel chief for Manipur is all set to launch various agitations if the government did not rewind the decision to allocate 25 to 25 percent of MNREGS funds to ADC and line department. Speaking to the media persons at Hotel Imphal today, Forum General Secretary Kabidon Gonmay said, if the state government did not respond positively, then they will send a memorandum to the central government. Ex-MLA BD Bering, Forum President Tongpu Skipgen, Advisor Amu Kamai and many village chiefs were also present in press meet. Those who spoke in connection with the matter said the state government decision is against the central government guideline of MNREGS. Gon may also warn that if the government fails to rewind the decision within a stipulated period of time, then they are ready to launch various agitations. <laughs> One day legal awareness program was held at Champanaga Community Hall Jiribam under the sponsorship of Manipur State Legal Services Authority and Imphal East District Legal Services Authority. The program was jointly organized by Jury Development Organization and Coalition Against Drugs and Alcohol Kada. Let Ko Kipgen Judicial Magistrate First Class, Civil Judge Junior Division, Jiribam, T. H. Ibomcha Singh Upadaksha Imphal East Zila Parisha, Ningthao Jam Doren Singh, Vice President Kada, and M. Hemanta Singh, President JDO, grace the function as President Members. L. Roman Singh Advocate spoke about narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances. Inaobi Devi spoke about domestic violence. Chandra Kumar spoke about arrest and detention. C.H. Norendra Kumar spoke about public distribution system. And C.H. Maneshwar Singh BDO spoke about NERGSA. And a huge number of people are attended in the program. The electoral fate of two 49 candidates, including Chief Minister Manik Sarkar and TPCC President Sudip Ray Bowman, will be decided on Thursday when Tripura goes to polls. The main contest here is between the left front and its allies and the Congress and its partners. All efforts have been put in place to avoid any untoward incident during the polling. Around 50,000 personnel have been deployed to ensure free and fair polling to the 60-member assembly. Tripura has been under the left front rule for two decades now and if it wins this time it will be its fifth straight term in power. Pope Benedict will give his final address as Pope at the Vatican on Wednesday morning to celebrate the Ash Wednesday. Many thousands are expected to attend the weekly Wednesday audience given by Pope. Pope Benedict on Monday announced his resignation from the Papal See. After Pope Benedict XVI became the first pope in hundreds of years to voluntarily resign, the Roman Catholic Church could be in for another first in recent history an African pope. True African cardinals are rumored to be among the top candidates to succeed Pope Benedict. Cardinal Peter Tuxon of Ghana is considered to be near the top of the short list of likely successors. Cardinal Francis Arenzi of Nigeria is again being mentioned as a possible pope, as he was in 2005 when Pope Benedict was elected. Well, before we end up, let's take a quick look into the headline once again. 197 cadres of URF, KCP, Lumfell and KYKL, MDF surrender. Signed Memorandum of Understanding with State and Central Government. That's all we have for the moment. Do keep watching ISTV English News for more news updates. Thank you.